back. We are back just we like are. that. I think we smell our food. Yes, yeah, so I heard. We're moving into our second segment. I uh, smell our food. But, but nonetheless, let's, yeah, that yeah, was okay. We had breakfast, man. We had breakfast. It was good. But this second segment is all about the Sukatan coming up. We've got none other than uh, Kathleen Azueta Cho, who is a technical advisor there at Hecopab. And Karen Rosito, we no, know stranger Karen. no stranger to TV. To but two of them, you know. Yeah. No stranger to TV. <laughs> this one is all about the Soka Walk and Run activity from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. To both of you, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning, good morning and thanks for having us this morning. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. It's so nice to have both of you in. Uh, when we when we heard, because April was like, you know what? I can't wait for the second segment. I can't wait for it because every time Miss Karen comes down, vibe. It's a vibe. Right? vibe. It's you a vibe. have to dance or do the last thing she had me do jumping jocks. Well, I think I saw that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that in, shoes. in shoes. In yeah. shoes. <laughs> in heels. In so let's heels, talk about yes. this. Let's talk about uh, what the Ministry of Health and Wellness have got to offer here and uh, this Sukathon walk and run activity. How did it come about? Tell us. Okay, so. Um, we are celebrating Wellness Week 2022 okay. next week. And the Sokaton is an official um, event mm -hmm. to kick off our activities for next week. Mm -hmm. And Wellness Week is originally inspired by Wellness Day in the Caribbean, which oh. is originally celebrated on September 13th. Okay. And since 2011, the Caribbean countries as well as the Central American countries have been celebrating a week of activities or a day to mm -hmm. raise awareness around um, non-communicable diseases yes. given the heavy burden of these diseases in our region yeah. mm -hmm. so um, the Sokaton is one way to officially start and to help promote healthy living and the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. um, you know wellness is one of our biggest um, mandates mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. this moment so we are partnering with miss rosito you know she's one of those exercise gurus mm -hmm. and so um we have a sokaton prepared for tomorrow at 6 a.m starting at the digi park mm -hmm. yes and it will move along the marine parade onto fort street, street tourism and village yes ah, mm -hmm. okay, and then okay. the way back so it's a total of um, three miles it's a okay. 5k and we will have a dj and the soca music to make it more fun. i was gonna ask so what makes it a soca thon am i walking or am i dancing you're dancing right. and moving along okay. in a positive way okay mm -hmm. So um, for me, I, everyone knows I'm Karen Rosito and we do a lot of these walks. Mm -hmm. It started out when I, um, Emir and I, I think we were, oh, I had gone to your, uh, his office, mm -hmm. Ekopab, that yes, area, mm -hmm. to help. beg for flyers for BFLA where I work. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know, we're having this game, like, put me in, <laughs> you want to do something. <laughs> so we had started there <laughs> and it started like that. And then we have a crowd that follows the movement yeah. the, the the 5k movement mm -hmm. and they love to dance the last one we did was for the environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was well attended yeah this one is to get people to move wheelchair bicycle scooter three wheel bike work yeah. a lot tricycle tricycle anything yeah um bring your kids mm -hmm. the music will be happening clean soca mm -hmm. and all the way well i don't know about clean soca. Mm -hmm. they have they something. have uh, we mean oh, yeah. who come, who come I, who come I think that one all right <laughs> I think that one, but you know, <laughs> let, let's talk about uh, what we're noticing in our country with respect to health. There are a few groups that have opened up, and I've seen this on social media, mm -hmm. where one of the in things right now is to run, mm -hmm. and yes. you run for to help somebody. If some something is wrong with somebody, then there's for a, a cause. yes, mm -hmm. yep. it's for a cause. Mm -hmm. And I'm so, even for jaguars. I noticed they're they're running, going around. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss K, you're 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 the you're the health guru here. What are you noticing with respect to our health? Are we, are we getting in tune with things now? What's going on? We're getting there mm -hmm. versus just before the pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the pandemic did a lot of good health-wise for people because you didn't have anything You didn't have anywhere to, to go. Um, mm -hmm. Some people gained weight. Some people did not, but most people picked up a habit. Mm -hmm. And well, for me, it was that habit that Ricardo Salazar brought. Exactly. That's the guy. It was, um, I think, a hundred... Um, a hundred kilometers. Kilometers in a month, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was like, 
and and I found myself and you know I swear I don't tell people this but I hate running walking or anything like that mm -hmm. I'm a cyclist yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I primarily. found myself doing it and then finding time to really reflect and think you know yeah. on, mm -hmm. on what's going on mm -hmm. and then lo and behold I saw a lot of other people doing it yes yes and they continued right, because yeah. a lot of people you know oh especially Marion Jones where by the way folks the big truck is about one kilometer okay wow. so not talk about one mile mm -hmm. Got three, three, uh, not, not three miles right but we measure the distance like kathleen and i we literally worked on the distance to not you know say mm -hmm. cheat people mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and let me tell you i see people out and but most of all i see families now right. walking from the dog yeah, I right? noticed yeah. Right, so that's good for me because be, I'm always out and looking. Like I was out um, 21st September morning and they said my dad had just passed. So mm -hmm. it was, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, people were actually out even though people parted the night before. Yeah. So that's a trend now that's happening. So what is that connection of exercise, walking, running? How, why is that good for our mental health? Well, for, to begin with, physical activity, increased physical activity mm -hmm. can help to, you know, prevent or even delay the onset of non-communicable diseases mm -hmm. like diabetes and high blood okay. pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of that. Just at the end of 2022, mm -hmm. we had about 839 persons wow. diagnosed with diabetes. And NCDs are often considered, you know, a disease, a group of diseases that affect older persons, mm -hmm. but it's having an impact on younger children and adolescents. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we really have to push the concept of wellness, yeah. starting from a very young age yeah. right. and fostering that um, wellness concept at schools, at community settings. And you rightly said running has changed. Um, I've been running for almost 10 years mm -hmm. and yeah. 10 years ago, it was a small group. Now we see numerous yeah. groups. It's a running culture, really. It is. And we're running for several causes. Mm -hmm. um, just earlier this month, the ministry um, commemorated World Suicide Prevention Day. Mm -hmm. And we had a walk. And we had very good support from the BDF. Mm -hmm. And so that is what we're trying to really foster, that, that enabling environment mm -hmm. the theme for wellness week is for a healthy and participatory environment yeah. right. so it's a call for countries and ministries and organizes organizations to strengthen the support mechanisms so yeah. that you can have um, that wellness culture and that positive working environment we, mm. we we have something going on within our country and i think i think more so across the world mm -hmm. um tablets uh, mm -hmm. um, all these Bikes. gadgets now mm -hmm. and kids ki yeah the kids as they get home it's not it's not going out to run mm -hmm. around the yard like one time mm -hmm. it, it's actually going on the tablet and that's where they're yeah. finding their joy and whatnot mm -hmm. and I feel that would eventually have uh, some serious uh, blue impact box, on or, health, yeah, yeah. A, a serious uh, impact on health like you rightly said uh, mm -hmm. Ms. Carr because we as parents we're actually now stagnant within the household as well the, the tablet is the babysitter yeah the yeah. tablet mm -hmm. that the babysitter and, and, and you'll we've give been, them been talking about chips this. to keep them quiet right. yeah mm -hmm. i have a five-year-old granddaughter mm -hmm. and she's very very you know thin she's off and i i found her every day nana can i get the chips and write on it well she has a phone right so i then i'm like no let's go because we live on north front street so it's easy to reach memorial park yeah let's go walk yeah, yeah. and she's always willing to walk yeah so my thing is i blame the parents blame for yeah. obese Primarily. kids mm. right because Primarily. then you want somebody to watch the kids so you could watch your tv mm. show or be on the phone but you have to for your own mental health mm -hmm. right. take those kids out take yeah. the children yeah. and we recently saw the data from the adolescent health mm -hmm. national strategic plan and it shows the impact. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the suicide attempts among younger adolescents mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even um, the obesity, yes. diabetes. You know, um, we saw the data in, in two districts, Orange Rock and Stan Creek, mm -hmm. having the higher diabetes incidence. Wow. So we really have to, you know, create that environment for children in mm -hmm. school, in, in the workplace settings. and. It starts from home mm -hmm. and it has to be a collective 
um, collaboration and collab collaborative. So this paper. one is a great one from the Ministry of Health. But one of the things that is very important is actually, and it might not be the Ministry of Health, but uh, maybe the Ministry of Education, but you mm -hmm. could do a collaboration there. Uh, what's that collaboration like with the M uh, M O H W and of course the Ministry of Just Education to, to try? Yes, mm -hmm. Ministry of Health and Wellness with the Ministry of Education to try and streamline these things more in schools. I mm -hmm. see um, primary schools such as Saint Joseph; they're actually doing two days of physical education mm -hmm. now. It's not one a week. It's not one. It's yeah, actually it's two. two. Yeah. So w w what's going on there? Um, even the the it's a health education um, curriculum mm -hmm. now. And it's no longer the HFLE. So really, they're trying to push that knowledge from a very young age. Mm -hmm. um, physical activity, the guidelines do recommend um, 60 minutes a day, right? Every mm -hmm. day for, for young children. And we have, um, I know the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education are currently in discussion. Mm -hmm with regards to the ban on sugary drinks. Yes. And that is something that is still in a consultation phase, but it will be phased out. And I'm glad that that discussion is ongoing. I'm glad so that's a good example of a collaboration between the two ministries. I'm glad you brought that up because when we talk about wellness and we talk about health, we often um, we forget that that comes from what you eat first, right? Mm -hmm. And then of course you take care of yourself with exercise. So when it comes to healthy foods and healthy living, mm -hmm. we often find that healthier foods are more expensive, right? You're, you're no? no, okay, or so we or feel. So we so feel. We feel. Because so tell us. you're thinking of the price of broccoli, cauliflower, things like that, mm -hmm. but you're not thinking of things like beans and chai and kalalo mm -hmm. and purple cabbage. And, and zucchini that they were literally giving away last week yeah. because you can prepare these things to be tasty yeah mm -hmm. right make zucchini pasta yeah right mm -hmm. yeah so and make your own tomato sauce mm -hmm. yeah right um so we're trying to move to clean eating yes. and if i had an opportunity to be on the show we were talking about i would have brought that up because now i know my grandchild is an infant one and it's hard for her to eat well yes. because they're picky eaters yeah. so I've, i came up with a whole lot of things including fish fingers in little cookie cut with cookie you know mm -hmm. uh, or, or in animal shapes yeah. Yeah. to have her eat to have her cutting eat her that. little sandwiches in four and making butterflies yeah so she'll eat but eating well eating really good is not expensive it's not expensive belizeans who are eat snapper and grouper mm. you have <laughs> grunt and you have other fish were cheaper get used to eating those mm -hmm. and, right and another thing to mm -hmm. add to what miss karen is saying too um it's being smarter too you mm -hmm. know cooking at home mm -hmm. instead of buying the takeout food yeah. and that helps you you reduce fatty foods you reduce foods high in salt mm -hmm. high in 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 sugars, sugars. Yeah. and so um you plan your meals you know you eat your grain your beans your legumes yeah. your spices you make mm -hmm. your own seasonings mm -hmm. you don't have to add that consomme right so it's all about making smarter choices yeah. reading the food labels yeah, yeah. and right? the food when labels go, now right. uh, they, they package on food you, you actually have the you have the, the black, black octagon right. or yeah, yeah. That's, hexagon that's on there from mexico. Tells you. Mm -hmm. that's that's mexican mm -hmm. they, i haven't seen any product from the states no. like that that's mexican they and tell when you what yeah when you see that those chips and they say high in sugar answer people like i never know chips got sugar mm. of course yes, they read yeah. and yes, they're they they almost two dollars yes. so my thing is you want to eat chips use your same corn tortilla bake it do your refried mm. beans from scratch, from scratch and dip on it and dip on it mm. yes and your, 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 your guacamole and it yes and these things are very so healthy. it's not ex it takes like she said planning it, yes it, you know yeah. and, and also fun for children to do is actually do some planting that's one of the things that mm -hmm. we're actually venturing off now at you know at my household whereby you get little um, uh, maybe plastic bottles. You could use buckles. egg crates. You could use yeah. egg crates. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, egg shell uh, mm -hmm. cracked up and whatnot. That's a part of your, your, your fertilizer mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Make and your you compost seed. Look, you know how them. easy it is to do um, um, uh, bell pepper? Uh, 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 um, tomatoes, tomatoes. Lettuce. Uh, uh, lettuce. Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Look, Peppers. You put, that, you put that thing there. That, that, My that, tomato not grow, so I can't. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. So you know, so there are so many things, and, that we and could they're do. so proud, yes, and and they'll 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 be more likely to eat 
what they grow right. because it's theirs. Mm -hmm. Bell peppers are almost what Kathleen four or five dollars a pound. Four five dollars a pound. Mm -hmm. Seven dollars a pound. And, and we cases. complain, and the thing is, Belizeans, we all have Belizeans all have yards. Mm -hmm. Yes, we not yeah. small. We got yard, and yeah. this yeah. one fifty by seventy five. We even yeah. you know, a guy out, we got veranda. Yes, mm -hmm. and pigtail bucket. We got that. Yeah. We got the the lee water, mm -hmm. the lee water stuff about the place. Cut that thing yes. in half, yeah. put some soil. And the seeds and then are cheap. Seeds cheap. You gotta say and bring everything except seeds, right? The, I think I think it was Rhymers or somewhere the Mennonites always have seeds. Yes, for yeah. they and they are good seeds. Yeah. Look, Miss so. K, we have those things right here in the household. We just cut the bell pepper a while ago. You got for yeah. sell we, 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 we could we could dry that. You put that in at the ground party done. Mm -hmm. And yeah. these things are what you but, refer to as high value. But products. then those are not stuff that we discuss in, in at, at all. That's right. not. I never get taught that in school. Yeah, but I get that's that what she's work, saying. Right? That that's part of the working. Right. Right. agreement right. because if you could teach a child to farm yeah he or she will eat forever yeah e exactly mm -hmm. exactly so and you know so <coughs> this is definitely a great a great initiative by uh, the Ministry of Health and Wellness for this Sokaton. Mm -hmm. So how do you do to sign up? You, you just go out there and go on a butter. Yes, we're inviting everyone. It's free. It's people free. have been asking free, free. me. Yes. Don't, people get, don't sell already. Don't a, people have. blow up my phone. How much for go Biscarin? How much? Because usually when I do my own thing, it's two dollars registration because right. Karen have to buy the water. Karen have to buy the stuff. But oh, Ministry yeah. of Health came out and they said when I asked them, it's free. F-R-E-E. -E, and I think you'll have small prizes. Um, we'll have little tokens we we'll have fruits and water mm -hmm. available yep. but really it's just to get into that healthy lifestyle yeah. and taking small steps next week we have a whole calendar of activities okay. and each day we have a uh, important aspect of health yeah. being covered so for example on monday we will have declutter your office bring a plant to work mm -hmm. tuesday is thirsty tuesday so we're water. stressing the importance <laughs> of water okay. right? <laughs> and then on wednesday we have wellness Wednesday. wednesday. so we'll have our health assessment um, and this is happening throughout the country yes. yeah. Yeah. our health regions are really on board pushing these initiatives um, on thursday it's thoughtful thursday yeah. so we're taking staff Be kind to someone. we're inviting staff to volunteer right to and assist, then yeah. um on friday it's fitness friday and it's really encouraging the workplaces the communities to take part in physical activities have a, have a little mm -hmm. sports yeah. day and um, i know some of the districts they're having a time set out for staff to yeah. do sacre slime and spoon um, little challenges just to again that's creating yeah. a nice working positive positive environment, environment. and, like and that. That, that really helps yeah. it bring the camaraderie together in the mm -hmm. office space look I, I can remember somebody told me they, they got up at about 1 30 in the in their office and started to do a, a workout here mm -hmm. there mm. and there are people watching there like oh what happened <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're all right yes it is for my health Hel it yeah. is very healthy yeah. mm -hmm. you know what's going on right now mm -hmm. as well everybody wanted the the um foam plate or the plate actually they lean over with rice mm -hmm. heavy and they <laughs> eat that between 12 and 1. yeah by 1 15 yeah. well uh, yeah. and then you wonder what's going on mm -hmm. and Portions, how you feel like that right? yes. that's right yeah, Portion, because yes. what what we take as a full plate is like four servings of rice yeah for a human being yeah but you're supposed to have like know, a handful it's so cup. easy to mm -hmm. be fit you could sit at your desk and say okay at 11 it's squat time mm -hmm. stand and sit stand and sit mm -hmm. for say 20 times or 25 mm -hmm. times yeah. okay and then after that it, it's stretch time and you That's you right. know do something yeah. and people will catch on eventually i say look every hour you yeah. drink a glass of water or you do 10 push-ups mm -hmm. you go and you drink a glass of water yep. you yep. know how healthy that is for your upper body <laughs> and so it, all of these you things. have space for the 10 and it helps to yes, reduce you could go outside yes. it helps to reduce you know depression anxiety yeah. because mm -hmm. it puts a, it it has an effect on your mental health yep. mm -hmm. a positive um the feel-good hormones yes yes yeah. in. endorphins, and, endorphins right? and um for me it's like how like for example for the walk tomorrow you'll get to see the sunrise. Some people don't see the sunrise unless it's juvenile. People pay millions right? of dollars for yes. the sunrise. Along yeah. or beautiful coast. Right. Right? Coastline. Mm. You get to meet people you haven't seen for a long time. Yeah. So I'm begging them, people show up. 
Yeah. It's so for you. It's registration is at six, or you begin we, walking. At yeah, six. we begin walking, walking at, at six. six. Okay. But yes, you could get out there like five thirty to enjoy the view and yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. And you could do your little warm up and stuff mm -hmm. like that because it is important. Oh, we'll be you're warming up. On, you're going on the, uh, the, 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 the you know, that three <laughs> miles, then you right. want to sort of stretches. Yes. yes. You want to make sure that you stretch. You want to make sure that you feel good before you're actually going out there. So, where do we uh, gather again? BTL Park. Park. Mm -hmm. Or Digi Park. Digi Park. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, we walk from Digi Park to. I mean, we don't walk. We soak so 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 yeah. And even if you say, well, I got two left foot and no dance, just move right. Left. There's nothing to it. Miss Rosita, can make a move. So, so from Marine Parade uh -huh. to mm -hmm. Fourth Street. Mm -hmm. Straight. Straight. Okay. And then all the way back to the. See, that's the, the map I'm in when you made a table kind of. And we're inviting uh -huh. everyone to come out. Um, if you're representing an organization and you have a cause, you know, somebody who died from cancer, a family member, it's really about you know showing that support and promoting yeah. wellness yeah like what i did i lecture at wesley junior college mm -hmm. so what i did i invited them but not without a catch you'll get points yeah, yeah bring your point, ma your yeah. pa you'll get more you'll points, get more points. <laughs> so wesley college will be well represented full force. Wow. Full force. so what about <laughs> and then and then being that i might not be somebody who is inclined to going out there and do stuff because i might not know what to wear what would be comfort wear comfort for me, Miss um, Kay? Um, comfortable sneakers. If you don't have, they have sandals that people use, especially mm -hmm. people with ingrowing toenails, or mm -hmm. you have sandals that they can use sneakers. Comfortable pants, not too tight, not short, preferably stretch. Um, for women, exercise bra or two brassiers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And t shirt. Mm -hmm. mm. Comfy. Comfy. Are you aware? Pants and shirt. Okay. Remember, yeah. you want to stay cool. You want to stay hydrated. Yes. And yes. we'll have water out there. And so you said something about prizes. We'll have and little tokens. tokens. Okay. Yeah, that's why they'll get a little raffle ticket. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. So All when right. you once you register, you get a raffle ticket, mm -hmm. and maybe you could win a little. Something. All right. So it's going right. to be starts at the Digi Park. It goes all the way to Fourth Street. Fourth Street. Tourism, Tourism, Tourism Village. Right at the that, gate. Right at that gate. The, I think. Yeah. Right at that gate. Yeah. In and front then, of. Um, the, this, yep, the security there, there is, there is a spot I, I, I know I know where, I know where to think about yes. I remember with the yoga place okay right past that you're a little past right, that right mm -hmm. past that all right yes. so and it's that easy and then you walk back to the yeah, because what happened the um, Sinclair DJ Sinclair is providing the music he has always done so and so he'll turn and wait for people at the Belize sign to come back mm -hmm. ah. and then we join of course, we revel and we dance while waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just follow the crowd. Yes. Yeah, and just, just move. Right. Don't stop moving. Yeah, yes. we really don't leave anyone behind because mm -hmm. yeah. we have our sweepers that will be encouraging. Because once you see the crowd, they come and you just squint. Yeah. Oh, you better turn back. <laughs> 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 All right. So again, uh, uh, we, yeah, we're wrapping up. But again, so the importance of movement. Mm -hmm. To, to mental and physical health. Just share that with us once again. Yes, we really want to encourage um, physical activity, um, eating well, um, reducing alcohol consumption, tobacco consum mm -hmm. consumption, because all of this will help in reducing the burden of non-communicable diseases. Yeah. Really, that's the idea and the main objective of these activities. And eventually, we'll have a uh, uh, benefits to the country you know mm. economically socially mm. and we will see less of these diseases yeah. affecting our population Excellent. Yes, Excellent. because remember NCDs literally are lifestyle diseases mm -hmm. so you live your life you end up right, end up, right? Yeah, With, right. and if you know mommy daddy sister had or have diabetes watch yourself that's right and you know you, and take uh, care to prevent of course if you've got a certain lifestyle you like to live man i mean if you like take your libya here and there then go on out there and you have to work out too yeah. yes you know that because okay, i tell you what i love my special white puck bread from popular i'm just telling you i like that so because i like that i want to make sure i go they go run boat a hundred and five calories a slice i just ask, you know, I just ask how, how long do you run after you take your one slice of bread you know they do want to take both four. yeah 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 but okay of course so yeah, where can we say. access the calendar of events for the wellness? You can visit the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. and Wellness Facebook page. We will be sharing f the flyers yeah. um, constantly on our page, on, mm -hmm. on Instagram. And just, you know, join us in our activities. The different um, districts will be having their own events. 
So I know at Battlefield Park, we'll also have a health fair next week. Oh. In Corozal, same thing, we'll have a um, health fair taking place. Mm. Um, we'll have a health assessment at the headquarters in min at Ministry of Health. So we're inviting all our officers to come out, get their numbers, yeah. um, you know, see what your glucose levels are saying. And just, you know, it helps yeah. to get... Yeah. You don't get a checkup. That's yeah. right. All right. Well, right. so Katan, mm. uh, tomorrow at 6 a.m. at Digi Park. Just follow the music. Just follow yes. the music. Try to get out there a little bit early so we could hit off at 6. Rain or, or shine. shine. Right. So Rain or stop the reggae jam. Yeah. <laughs> but, if, but April, if that is, you know, too little for you, oh. then the heavy hitters is going to be on Sunday. We're talking about a half marathon. Mm -hmm. Kaya Katus is going to be in to tell us all about this half marathon. More you ever do a half marathon? Not half. Okay, you ever do a half marathon? No. Uh, on my yes. bike, you, you do a half marathon. Yes, yes she did. I've done one, and my goodness, <laughs> several, of them, them, right? several of them. Thanks for encouraging. Kaya Katus is going to be here to tell us <laughs> what to do, how to do to be a part of this half marathon coming up on Sunday. We'll be right back. Okay.